I want to recall this uh, very useful result uh, for computing basis of uh, uh, field extensions when we have a tower field. So suppose we have uh, a tower field of three fields, so two extensions, k into l, l into m, and suppose that we know uh, the basis of uh, the vector space m over l, let's call this basis b, a set of vectors which generates m as a vector space over the field l, and we also know uh, the basis of l as an extension of k, let's call this a. So in this case we have our question is how to compute the basis of the bigger extension m over k and the fact this uh, important result says that we can obtain this as a product base of a and b where a dot b this product basis if you want is given by the products of the elements in the two bases namely say alpha times beta where alpha is in A and beta in the basis E. So let's give, to make things concrete, just an example of application of this result. Suppose we have, suppose we want to compute the basis of uh, the extension of q given by square root of 5 and a cube, cubic root of 5 over q. So we want to compute this. Let's, uh, let me call this element uh, alpha cubic root of 5 and Okay, I, so I, in this case, I will I find it convenient to view the extensions of q into q of alpha, and then q, uh, our goal extension, which is square root of 5 and alpha. So now the basis of q of alpha over q is quite immediate, so it's called a, the basis given by 1 alpha alpha squared right since alpha is a cubic root of 5 is a is an element of order 3 of degree 3 if you want over q okay so that satisfies the polynomial x cube minus 5 and uh, so these these uh, three elements uh, admit um, satisfy are linearly independent and so they form a basis of q alpha over q. Okay, now I pass to the other uh, extension. So we did this step. Now, what is the basis of this extension? So I claim that we can take the basis uh, 1 and square root of 5 as a basis of q um, square root of 5 and alpha over I will just use this notation over over q of alpha so why why is that because of course you can consider uh, here the polynomial x square minus 5 so this is as a polynomial over q is irreducible, but we notice that it remains it remains irreducible over q of alpha. In fact, uh, if it were reducible, then it would admit uh, a root in q of alpha, and this is uh, not possible because then this root would give you an intermediate extension of degree two, but q of alpha is an extension of degree three. So the two doesn't divide three, and this is the usual 
uh, argument with the degree uh, theorem, if you want. So this polynomial here uh, stays irreducible over q of alpha, and therefore it's the minimal polynomial of uh, square root of 5 or in, this, in this extension. So this gives, so therefore this, um, this extension here is uh, uh, degree 2, and this is a basis. So once we have this, we conclude by applying the result, the result here on top, that the basis a dot b given by 1 square root of 5 alpha, then all the product, square root of 5 times alpha, uh, alpha squared, square root of 5 times alpha squared, and now I have six elements. So this is a basis, is a basis of our uh, extension Q extended by square root of 5 alpha over Q. So in particular, an extension of degree 6. And this was the example to clarify this statement.